Welcome back to another teacher profile. Right now we have Mark Feuerbach. He is the Teacher of the Year for 2008 for the Galt Joint Union High School District. Thanks for joining us. You bet. Well, first tell me, uh, tell me where you teach and uh, tell me what you teach. I teach at Galt High School. Uh, we're a school of about 2,200 kids and uh, I teach welding, agriculture, mechanics, and welding. Well, tell me about that. Tell me uh, a little bit more about those subjects. Uh, in my classes, I teach, it's a job skill based class. Uh, students that take my class, um, they have many options. Maybe they're a student that just likes to build things at home so they can learn how to weld so they can build things at home, modify their truck at home, things like that. I have students that do want to be welders. They're very interested in the trade and there's a lot of jobs in the Sacramento region for welders. I also have students that, that they want to take welding. Maybe they're going to be a welding engineer or a welding inspector. They're going to go on to college after they after they take my class because they want the practical experience and have a better knowledge of, the, of how welding works. I, I know that we've seen a real emphasis lately on career and technical education. Tell me how that's kind of impacted what you do in the classroom with your students. Um, what's really helped me is that you're, um, I have a lot of students in my class that don't fit in other areas at school. They're not athletes, they're not band members, they're not honor students but they enjoy working with their hands. And the lot of students I get, they're very good welders. I've had some very outstanding welders over the years. Uh, many of my kids, they realize if they do a good job in my class, they can complete what they need to get completed, that I can get them a job with the skills they have. That must be pretty gratifying. For yeah, it's very, very gratifying. Um, a lot of hard work goes in the class. The kids have to work pretty hard to get, you know, to, to learn the, the proper welding skill and uh, understand the welding methods, but they realize that I, I teach them that the harder they work, the more they know, the more they're going to be worth to an employer. We also do lecture in class. We go over the theory of how things work. Not only do we do it, but the, I also want my students to understand the welding process as we go over. By doing that, it's going to make them a smarter welder and open, open more, more doors for them in the welding industry. And, and there seems to be, when you're talking about career and technical education, there seems to be this, this real emphasis on the other subjects and how they apply along with it. You bet. M math uh, and science. and. Yes, most definitely. I try to, I have some students that they really don't like school, but once they get in my class, I can better relate how in high school education will benefit them. Yes, math is very important and science is very important re in relation to welding. But also, you know, it's important they learn how to read and write properly. And if they do want to go to higher education, they have to have those skills to do it. And if they don't take care of their school, then going to college is going to be tough. So they need to graduate. If they do graduate, that helps them, you know, open more doors too also. So it must be really encouraging for you to have a student come in the door who isn't sure what he wants to do and you kind of can help him go into a different direction. Yes, you bet. I have a lot of students, you know, that they just don't fit anywhere at school and they say, hey, yeah, I really enjoy doing this. And maybe by their junior, senior year, they're building projects in my class and they can see at the, you know, that when, by the time they graduate, they could have enough skills to get a job and, you know, a job that will make them a good living. You must feel like you get some good support within your community, too, if you're able to, to find potential employees for companies. Well, we get the, the business community in the Sacramento region is just outstanding. You know, from, every, from Sacramento to Lodi to Stockton, we have many, many manufacturers in our area. And all the many, many and then the, the manufacturers I've gone to have been They've just been great, donating materials for the class. There's no way I could teach the way I do if I didn't have donations. Caltrans has helped us out. Uh, Butte College from Chico, Orville has helped us out. And a lot of local manufacturers have just been great. Uh, Sierra Air Gas, Varco Pruden, um, Hinders Welding, uh, Nick Nemo Hay. We have several, several different employers in the area that hire my students and make donations to our program that enables to do what we do. Now tell me about the agricultural part, the mechanics you called it. Yeah, ag mechanics. Our kit, because I'm part of the agri, uh, um, I'm part of the ag department, Gull High. That gives us a lot of the funding that we need for our welding program. And, and their initial class, the ag mechanics part, the kids come in their first year and learn just basic shop skills. They learn, you know, they learn shop safety. They learn woodworking. They learn plumbing. They learn electric wiring. They learn sheet metal work. All the basic skills that they need. They need. They, they learn tool identification. So then when they come to my class, they at least have a basic understanding of how a shop works and, and well, you know, what a lot of tools are used for. 
as a teacher, it must be kind of encouraging for you to see that there is kind of a, a spotlight and a focus on, you know, technical education, career and technical education now. Well, you know, not everybody fits into the same mold. Not everybody's going to go to college. Not all kids want to go to college. A lot of those kids, they want to work when they get out of high school. Well, what are they going to do when they get out of high school? They have to have some kind of skill. And, you know, I think it's real important, career technical education, we need auto mechanics. We need diesel mechanics. We need carpenters. We need cabinet makers. We need plumbers. We need welders. We need, there's many, many trades that need, need skilled technicians that are going to make good money and can make a good living. And a lot of, if you work for a lot of larger firms, they have good, good, real good medical, real good dental. You can take care of your family. So there are a lot of great opportunities for young adults that do not want to go to college. But the nice thing about that, they can always go to work. And if they decide, hey, I want to go back to college, they can do that. Mm -hmm. It must be pretty gratifying for you then, a lot of rewards. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the main reasons I teach is because those ki you help those kids out, and when they get out, um, they do, you know, they go out and have a lot of great success, and they come back and share that with you and your, your, your current students. And, and that's just great to see that your know, former students are doing real well, being productive citizens and, and doing real well. How did you get into teaching? What brought you there? <laughs> I'm from a, I was from a family of six kids, and both of my parents were teachers. Uh, I was one of the older, older kids in my family, so quite often I took care of my younger brothers and sisters. Um, when I was in high school, I started coaching youth basketball. And then when I, when I got to college, I started working with different youth groups and doing different things with them in sports and things. And after I got out of college, I, I was working in industry, and I just had a burning desire inside me to work with young adults. And I just always enjoyed it. So going back to school and getting my teaching credential and teaching something that I'm really passionate about, welding, and working with the young adults, it's just a great situation for me. It's something that I love to do. And I always preach to my students in class, do something that you enjoy. If you're gonna be doing this the rest of your life, enjoy what you're doing, love what you're doing. Now, it must be uh, pretty gratifying, obviously, to be named a Teacher of the Year for, for the Galt School District. Tell me, tell me how that feels for you. Well, <laughs> I really don't like all the, all, you know, I don't like all the recognition, but yeah, it's great. I mean, I really appreciate that my district uh, picked me for this award. You know, that was the, the Galt Joint Union High School District Teacher of the Year. Uh, that's a great honor. Uh, I really don't like all the tension, but it, it, yeah, it, I really appreciate the fact that, that they, they, they have seen what I've done and they appreciate what I've done helping kids out. And yeah, it's a great honor. Well, obviously, you know, you're preparing students uh, for either a job or college or both. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, too, I have students that Maybe they take my class just to learn how to weld because they like building their own things. But I've had students have gone to, gone to other towns. They're, they're not going to, they're, they're going to be like English major or history majors, but they need jobs to get through college. Mm -hmm. And they say, hey, do you know anybody that's in an area? And quite often I can find them a welding job in that area where it can help pay for their education. So it, it does, you know, a lot of times it can help out in an indirect way and you don't even know it. Wow. Um, it's, yeah, it's, uh, helping the kids out has been great. You know, that's, why else would you teach? You know, I love working with young adults, and to see them succeed is great. Well, let me ask you this finally. What would you say to someone who is considering teaching as a career, whether it's in career technical education or whatever field, you know, if they have that thought in their mind that they want yeah, to teach? I think that anybody that, enjo that enjoys working with young adults, and that's what high school kids are. They're young adults. They're not kids anymore. If you work like wor working with young adults and you enjoyed the trade you're working in, it's a great situation. Um, some people do complain about what teachers make. Yeah, initially it is pretty low. But if you stay in for the long run, I get a pretty good salary. You know, it, the pay may not be as great as some other things, but you get pretty good money, you got good benefits, and it's a good job. I mean, the rewards, you know, a lot of people I know complain about their jobs. They're not happy. I, I really enjoy my job. I mean, you have good days and bad days like anything else. But I tell you what, it's great helping, you know, turning these these young adults and, you know, and helping them out and being productive citizens. It's just, you know, it's a great feeling. Well, congratulations. And we appreciate uh, Mark Feuerbach being with us. He is the Teacher of the Year for 2008 for the Galt Joint Union High School District. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.